He returned to the starting lineup for the Steelers last Sunday and registered three tackles and a half a sack in the win against the Ravens. For Stephon Tuitt, while the stats are nice, it's simply returning to the field with his teammates that matters most. Being a part of a team is something that Tuitt has always enjoyed, and it's a special part of what makes him the player he is today. You may not have known it, but courtesy of hip-hop artist Rick Ross, millions of people have seen a glimpse of Stephon Tuitt's old neighborhood. Whip it real hard, whip it, whip it real hard. I grew up in Miami, Florida, Kara City. I live right behind uh, the flea market store, Kara Mart. Uh, Rick Ross made that hustle video song at. That's where where it was. Then I went to I moved to Georgia when I was like like eleven or twelve. It was then when Tuit and his three brothers moved to Gwinnett County, Georgia, where his mother landed a job in the sheriff's department. Criminal justice was his mother's major in college, so discipline was always a part of Stefan's life. Ironically enough, his football career began with some uncharacteristic defiance. I didn't start playing football until ninth grade. I went behind my mom back and walked to practice one day because I knew if I didn't do it then, I would never have done it. And uh, I was the oldest of four boys at home and uh, no father at home, so I had to take care of them. Never really defied her before, but me defying her to do something that was positive. As I got older, I realized it made her accepting of it right away because you know, there's many other things I could have been possibly doing or trying to do. And the thing that I did do to defy her was walk to a practice to try to make a football team. That walk to practice wasn't just a few blocks. Tuit walked 11 miles from his new home to Monroe Area High School. He describes his motivation to do so as wanting to be part of something bigger than himself and the Hurricanes coach was happy to oblige. I told him I never played sports before, but I want to be part of a team. He told me to go home. He thought I was a local kid. I told him I walked here. So, you know, when he said I would be able to join the team because he saw how far I walked, he was willing to help me find my position that was comfortable with me. And I told him, I promise you I'll be the best player you ever have. If Tuitt isn't the best player Monroe coach Matt Flig ever had, he's sure in the discussion. However, not initially. Tuitt admits to being uncoordinated in the beginning, but blossomed into a special player through his insatiable desire and work ethic. He even changed his jersey number from 74 to 7, which to him represented seven days per week of hard work. Everything I did, I worked hard for. So all my life, I worked hard for everything I had. And just like stuff came to me. It was just like a blessing, you know? Like God gave me blessings for me working hard. Tuit's hard work rubbed off on his teammates, and after going winless through 20 games the previous two years, Tutu, as he was known, led his team to one of the best seasons in school history. We are kind of like that Friday Night Lights team. Like nobody really went to our games until that senior year. The amount of coaches that we had to come into our games, and how packed our stands was in the trucks and everything it was, it was like one of those miracle seasons we was having. What wasn't a miracle is Tuit being selected to play in the 2011 U.S. Army All-American Bowl. He chose to attend Notre Dame shortly thereafter and started for three seasons for the Fighting Irish before the Steelers took him in the second round of the 2014 NFL Draft. He's now a professional, but none of it would have been possible without his fellow players and coaches at Monroe Area High School. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that team. And be born in Miami to go to a small town in Monroe all of a sudden. Every opportunity I had, I jumped on it and I ran with it. And uh, it's the reason why I was able to go to Notre Dame. It was the reason why I was able to get drafted by the Steelers. And it could be the reason for many more successful times for me to come in the future.